the stable of Biscon Communications, producers of the Bisio Latula Show, Nigeria's number one general interest magazine show, comes BOS International Magazine. With BOS International Magazine, you can now enjoy the best of two worlds with Biscon Communications, the emerging media conglomerate. BOS International Magazine keeps you constantly in touch with events on the social scene as they happen, global news, politics, sports, special interviews, fashion and style, and essential tips about life and living. BOS International Magazine is a complete package of entertainment and education at your doorsteps. Ask your vendor for a copy today. We welcome distributors across the country. Just like yesterday, Saturday, September 13th, made it 365 days since the former governor of Ondo State, Dr. Olusegun Kokumo Agagu, left us. A man of many parts and master of many things, Dr. Agagu left indelible marks on the sands of time. Dr. Agagu, who exited this world at the age of 65, was born in Okitipupa, Ondo State, Nigeria. He attended the famous Ibadan Grammar School, Ibadan. He then proceeded to Nigeria's premier university, University of Ibadan, where he bagged a degree in geology in 1971. After brief stints with Gulf Oil Company, now Chevron, and University of Ibadan, his love for intellectual rigor led him to the University of Texas, USA, where he obtained a master's degree in geology. Even then, he was unsatisfied. Dr. Agagu later became a politician and crowned his academic thirst with a doctorate degree from the University of Ibadan. His career was laden with consultancy jobs from the biggest oil exploration companies and state governments in Nigeria. His first major assignment as a public servant began in 1992 when he was elected Deputy Governor of Ondo State, Nigeria. Between 1999 and 2002, he served as Minister of Aviation and Minister of Power of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. He was later elected as Governor of Ondo State in 2003 on the platform of the People's Democratic Party, PDP. Apart from being member of many professional bodies in Nigeria, Africa and the United States of America, he received award of the Citizen Lauder National du Merit from the government of France in the year 2000 and the key to the city of Baltimore in the United States of America. At home, he was given the prestigious commander of the Order of the Niger. Dr. Olusegun Kokumo Agagu was a dedicated family man and was married to his school sweetheart and dance partner, Mrs. Olufunke Agagu, with whom he had three children. For a man who touched the lives of millions of Nigerians while serving his country dutifully, it is only appropriate that he's immortalized. The date set aside to commemorate this annual event is the 13th day of September. Apart from that day being the first memorial thanksgiving for His Excellency, it also marked the formal launch of the Olusha Gagu Foundation. The procession started with the hymn, Great is Thy Faithfulness. It was followed by an address which highlighted the purpose of the gathering. According to the minister, it was a celebration of the life of a great man, a man who left his mark during his service to this great country. After the first and second lessons and hymns, it was then time for words of exhortation by a member of the clergy. Quoting from Philippians chapter 4 in the Holy Bible, the man of God urged Nigerians in general to watch their lifestyle by governing their actions, attitude, and resources. Govern your actions. Govern your actions. In other words, you need a display of self-control. Govern your actions. Number two, govern your attitudes. 
In other words, you and I need to display edifying attributes. Edifying, not destructive. After words of exaltation, there was a special rendition by the choir of the Chapel of Resurrection, University of Ibadan. Special prayers were offered for the wife, children and grandchildren of late Chief Agagu. This was followed by thanksgiving by family, friends and well-wishers. God's gracious mercy and protection we commit to you. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord keep you. May the Lord make His face to shine upon you. The next port of call was the International Conference Center, University of Ibadan, Oyo State, Nigeria, venue of the launch of the Olushe Gwagagu Foundation. The launch started with opening prayer. Present at the launch of the Olushe Gwagagu Foundation was His Excellency, Chief Olushe Gwagagu former President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. President of Botswana, Festus Gontebanye Mogai, the Deputy Ambassador of the Republic of Botswana, Myron Bonang, Minister of Communication and Technology, Mrs. Omobola Johnson. Among other dignitaries present was Chairman of Honeywell Group, Dr. Oba Otudeko, and Royal Fathers. Chairman of the event, Chief Olushe Gumabasonjo, gave the opening remarks. The former president spoke briefly about the quality of service of the departed when he served as Minister of Aviation and Minister of Power during his tenure. We are here to celebrate the great work, the achievement, and the legacy that Shekhan left behind. The call for greater service as we both saw it then for Ondo State made me to let him go to serve Ondo State. Thereafter was the keynote address which was delivered by the president of Botswana, Festus Gontibaye Mogai. He said that the achievements of the late Agagu were too many to name. He x-rayed the activities of the late Olushe Gwagagu administration and also lauded the former minister's love for education and professionalism in serving the people of Nigeria. Having persisted and persevered with his professional studies and the imparting of knowledge he sought and obtained public office first as a minister, then the deputy governor and finally the governorship itself, it is clear from what he, is, he achieved in the public sector that the academic and professional attainments were a means to an end. Additional contribution was made by the Honorable Minister of Communication and Technology, Mrs. Omobola Johnson. She mentioned the important role of information communication and technology, namely ensuring the availability of information. She didn't fail to mention the achievements of the late politician in the area of ICT in Ondo State during his tenure when he set up the Ondo State Information Technology Development Center, which led to his emergence as ICT governor of the year 2007. Dr. Gagu, during his time as the governor of Ondo State, he set up, he established the Ondo State Information Technology Development Center in 2005. And that agency was empowered to, to drive e-governance projects in the state. And one of the major investments that Ondo State made in that time, and what this did was to increase revenue, the state internally generated revenue by over 86% in the time that Dr. Agagu was governor. Chairman of Honeywell Group, Dr. Obao Tudeko, extolled the virtues of late Dr. Olushe Agagu. He said that the wishes of the departed governor will be carried out 
through his children. Was an intellectual, he was a visionary, he was a man of strong conviction, and he actually devoted his life to make an impact on society, which is what testimony so many people are speaking about today. I am a testimony to the fact that Agagu in administration planted a tree or a seed that is meant to germinate and provide opportunity for children that were yet unborn. His legacy is in those states, in the area of health, in the area of education, in the area of capacity building, in the area of human development, in the area of civil service, in the area of opening up the coastal resources of those states will remain evergreen in the memory of his country. With regard to the foundation, um, I'm a public servant and um, I cannot uh, personally say anything I'm going to do. Of course, I will do, but what we intend to do is to mobilize the entire power sector to make sure that something significant and substantial is contributed to this man who also served in the power sector, so that his foundation, which also includes aspects of energy and power, will not suffer on account of lack of resources. We salute the memory of this man and say to God be the glory for a gift like Dr. Agabi. Thank you and God bless you. The formal launch of the Olusegun Agagu Foundation then took place. Dr. Obao Tudeko led the park with a handsome donation. Later, a minute of silence was observed for late Dr. Agagu, who was also a lecturer at the University of Ibadan. The vote of thanks by son of the late governor, Fei Agagu, brought the launch to its close. This whole thing started was just trying to find a way to leave or leave to keep Papa's legacy. Papa is popularly, uh, popularly known. A way to promote his ideals, not necessarily promote him, such that those things he practiced, either in governance, in his in family life, in his business life, like in the mayor, maybe one or two people will be able to take it and leave the place better than it is. Thank you everybody, thanks for coming, God bless. Late Dr. Lushegun Agagu lived for 65 years, but the legacies he left behind and values which he represented will stay with us for much longer.